I'm Vicky from Rockstars and Royalty. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. This is Rocked Up Frocks, the series where I take pre-loved items and give them a makeover. And today I'm rocking up this handbag, which I got from the Green Shed for $4. It's not in bad condition, but there's definitely some damage and some scratches on the surface. I really like the shape and size of this bag. I'm going to take the handle off and turn it into a clutch and then cover the surface with some lace and some other embellishments to hide all the scratches. So the first thing I want to do, because I want to turn this into a clutch, is to get this strap off. Now this end unclips, so I can cut that bit off. I want to see if I can get rid of this. So I've got my pliers out. If it won't come out, I'll just have to glue something over it. But I'm hoping... Oh, there we go, it's going to come off. Ha ha! It's just left a little hole. But once we've got something over that, that won't notice. So now for the strap, I'm going to cut this end. I'm going to use my pliers again to see if I can get these bits of hardware out. Oh, there you go, that one snapped straight off. Do you know what, I'm going to keep that one and I'll tie something on there. And now we have a little handle free clutch. I think it works perfectly as a clutch. That strap was just the wrong length. I just wouldn't use it for anything. So I much prefer it like this. To decorate the bag, I'm gonna use the lace that was left over from the last rock tap dress that I did, the little purple dress. And I'm gonna use these embroidered patches and this little sequin patch. To put it all on, I'm gonna be using E6000. So next I'm gonna take my glue and start gluing lace onto the ends. So I'm just gonna open that up as wide as it goes. I'm just going to put some glue carefully along one side. I'm going to cut a hole in the lace where that little bit of hardware that we couldn't get rid of needs to come through. at the minute. I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll trim it and then do the other end. So I've just turned the lace at the top to the inside to finish that edge and I've trimmed there all the way around the edge. I'm going to do the same at the other end now. Next I've taken the piece of lace that I want to wrap around the body of the bag and I've just placed it over it and I'm going to make sure I've got enough to reach all the way up the front and all the way round and over the flap and I'm going to start by gluing it on the bottom of the bag. Next I'm going to cut it to just wider than the width that we need it. Next, I'm going to turn those edges under to form a neat edge as we glue it down. Now I'm going to do the same at the front. So this time I've folded it. Now it's held in place on the bottom, it's easier. So I've folded it into just past the edges and I'm going to glue just along the edges and a couple of little bits along the top there. I'm just going to leave that to dry for a bit. Next I'm going to trim along the top and turn this edge to the inside and glue it down. Next I'm going to trim around where the magnetic clasp is and just glue the lace down around the edge of that. Now for the back, I'm going to just put a couple of blobs of glue along there. Next I'm going to trim it to size, leaving enough to turn to the inside. To finish it where the flap joins onto the body of the bag, I'm going to cut along the lace there and there. So that bit will sit flat on the body and then this bit can 
turn to the inside of the flap. And now we can turn it over and glue this on the inside to hold it onto the flap of the bag. The inside of the flap looks way messier than I thought it would. So I've got some black braid that I'm going to glue along where the lace finish is. I'm going to trim it and glue that around it just to finish that edge off a little bit neater. So this is our bag with the lace all over it. So now it's time to start decorating. So the first thing I'm going to put on is my embroidered flower patch. So I'm going to decide where I want that to sit. Oh yeah, that looks good because then I can wrap that bit around the edge. And then I'm going to cut these bits off and I can use that somewhere else. So I'm going to start gluing that into place. my old jewellery and broken jewellery to find something to hang off the end here and I found this key that I'm going to hang and I also found these two glittery butterfly hair clips which I think I'm going to add as well so I'm thinking maybe one of them on there with the key and one on top with the flowers so I'm going to pull those backs off get some chain to hang that on with watching I hope you enjoyed seeing how I transformed this four dollar charity shop handbag into something completely different all up it's taken me about two hours and it's cost me less than fifteen dollars and as a bonus I've used up some things from my craft stash as well please subscribe if you haven't already please click the little bell so you get notifications too give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I'll be back soon with more videos Thank you.